is in Bitcoin right now. What do y'all think? Let's let's look at the weekly. The weekly just ended um, today. guys were also invested last year um, we're kind of in the same spot 12,000 we did hit we did go all the way up last year to what was the high um, 13,920 but um, but we got rejected and then after trying a few more times eventually we got rejected all the way down um, Right now we're we're kind of at that same spot where we were last year. If we break, if we can break through twelve thousand two hundred range. Um, I believe that's gonna send us, shoot us to at least thirteen thousand. That's basically where we need to go right now. I said the music too loud. Is that like I don't know why but I can't hear the music too good in my headphones so I can't tell I can't tell how the music is all right uh, so yeah so if we if we could get if we could break through this uh, 12,200 level uh, 13k is definitely next. Uh, and then obviously if we could break through 13. Then last year's high is next, which is 13,900 area be between 13,900 to 14k. And if we break 14k, then that's when I believe we'll be able to um, to shoot through to uh, either back to our previous all-time high or to a uh, or to a all-time high so I think if we break through that the hype on Bitcoin is gonna get a lot of money back in and um, it's gonna be all over the media again like last time and I think that them because I don't really feel like right now there's a lot of media hype with Bitcoin. Um, it's just been slowly building up. Last time it was all built up with with media hype. This this time is is a little bit different. The fundamentals are way better than last time. Everything it, the the whole community has grown overall. Um, so yeah, so, so right now we're fighting this battle at 12 K If we could break through here, 13 K is definitely next. And then 14, if we could break 14. I think we could hit, uh, 20, which is the previous all time high. If we hit 20, I think we're going to get rejected at 20. A lot of people are going to be selling because they're scared of what happened last time but I think we'll probably hit 20 dump back down to like 16 15 and then I think that's when the media hype is gonna come in and we can uh, hit new all-time highs for Bitcoin that's what I think could happen obviously there's a lot of different views a lot of different you know perceptions to this so it depends how you look at it Let's, let's, uh, let's zoom into the daily chart. The daily chart here, if you take a close, close look, it's a bull flag right now. You guys can see the, the bull flag right here. So the what a bull flag uh, means is the probability is that it's highest that it's gonna continue up. So that's what a bull flag represents. A bear flag is the opposite.
me see. Let me let me uh look at the chat. You know what's crazy? Last last year, last year at this time we were at the same price. Last year August. We're at the same price. Well, we're already dropping. But yeah, August, August we had hit 13K. Well, almost. We hit 12,000 12, in August last year. Let's hit up um, Ethereum real quick. Let's see what's going on with Ethereum. Ethereum has a very similar build. Look, look, at, look at this build right here on Ethereum. You see what happened here? You see how it went up? Boom. This right here, that's a bull flag. Look what happened over here. It broke out and now it's, it's forming another uh, bull flag right there. Man, Ethereum's going to blow up, guys. I don't know if you guys remember, but Ethereum was over $1,000 uh, in 2017. Um, and it's lagging behind a lot right now. Uh, from where where Ethereum's price is compared to where Bitcoin's price is, so I definitely see Ethereum jumping up to 500 soon. I am bullish, especially with all the the new DeFi coins and that whole thing going on right now. Everybody's pumped on those coins, like Link and all that. Guys, all that is built on Ethereum platform. So if you're if you're bullish on DeFi, you got to be bullish on Ethereum. Yeah, with the whole Corona thing, there's a lot of money being printed. So crypto, a lot of people are going into crypto, gold and silver. That's why crypto, gold and silver is pumping because a lot of money's is being printed right now. Let's check out. Um, well, let, let's see where, where it's at right now. So, so I I picked up. Um, I was trying to enter. If, if you guys watched our our last stream, our last market analysis, we tried to enter Ethereum a few times at 400. Um, we kept getting stopped out. Then uh, it took off finally, though the trade we we're trying to take. Uh, it came back down. We were able to catch it at 420 and ride it up a little bit to 435 now it's right back down to back to the entry so 420 is a good entry spot if you're not in a ethereum trade um i would keep a stop below the daily low wait what's, what's the daily low it might be wide uh the daily low is 412 so you would have if you get in now you'd have about a ten dollar stop uh your targets basically 440 so you have a ten dollar stop, seventeen dollar profit for first target, four forty, then four fifty. Those are the targets I'm looking at. Let's look at Bitcoin Cash right here, guys. Bitcoin Cash, you can see it is also in the bull flag form. The pattern is a bull flag. There's something else that's also lagging behind Bitcoin's price. We should be able to see, I think Bitcoin Cash should catch up, to, at least catch up to Ethereum. Because Ethereum, it's, it's usually neck and neck with Ethereum. Right now, this is about $100 behind. We should be able to, to come back to these highs. I like the $300 entry for Bitcoin Cash and 280 entry. So either $300 entry or uh, 280 support entry. I need some more Orange Fanta. All right, let's uh, let's check out XRP. How many people are in XRP? Let's see over here. Uh, so 
last time we checked it out, we, we put this uh, Fibonacci tool on it. Fibonacci retracement. We wanted to, to compare it and see uh, what it looked like. And see what it did. So I think we talked about, uh, we're looking at the, the 0.382 area. It looks like it kind of broke below that, but then it came right back up. Um, and then it got, it looks like it's getting stuck right here at the 0.236 area that we have marked. So that could definitely be a point of interest. But it's been moving slow. Um, I don't know if you guys were here during the last bull run for Ripple. But Ripple was one of those coins that moved extremely slow. And then just took off. I don't know where it's from. Like, you know, 10, 20 cents to I don't know if you guys can hear the music I cannot hear the music so if you guys can hear it then cool I definitely do not hear it I don't know what's going on with this with this thing today um right now I'm not entering any trades I don't really like any trades on uh I, I have long-term positions. I don't have any day trade positions on it right now, but I do have long-term positions. Remember, long-term positions and day, day trade positions are completely different. Litecoin, Litecoin, Litecoin has finally moved a little bit, it, but it hasn't really been moving too much. Uh, we are we're looking at it against uh, paired up with Bitcoin right now, so it's been losing value to Bitcoin for a while. If you look at the chart, we are invested again the same thing. We're invested in Litecoin long term. We're not invested in Litecoin. We're not currently doing any day trades on Litecoin. It just hasn't been moving enough for us for it to be profitable. Alright, um, Cardano, Cardano looks good still, it's been correcting for a little bit now, um, but it, it still looks pretty good, it's still, uh, the pattern's still, still in play, as long as it doesn't keep dropping all the way down here, it's still a bull flag that you can trade, probably have your stop. If you enter any type of trade right now, you probably need to stop around 1100 sats, which is this section right here. Let's pull up Tezos. Look at it against the dollar. Yeah, so one thing I've noticed with uh, Tezos is that it's it has been a kind of correlated with um, with Link with Chainlink. So it's it's been kind of following it a little bit. Um, if you if if you can see here, we also have the uh, the same bull flag pattern here. I definitely expect some sort of break at some point soon. Let's, let's zoom in a little bit more. To really see uh, what's been going on with the price. Um, Alright, so you saw it, it corrected here. Then it took off a little bit again. It looks like up here is where it's been getting trouble. Okay, so the 450 mark, $4.50, looks like it's the, the mark where it's having trouble. So that's, that seems to be the biggest resistance right now. Um, it dropped down to four dollars, back up to 450. So what you guys got got to realize about what's happening right now with these prices, you got to pay attention to the numbers. 
the numbers, if you notice, they're whole numbers, right? So 450 is a resistance and $4 is a support. Now, why would those exact numbers be, you know, where it's getting rejected and supported? Uh, it's psychological. It's all psychological. Uh, the market is very, very big on whole numbers. So whole numbers always tend to play as resistance and supports. Um, it's just a psychological thing. So you always have to keep that in mind when trading anything, whenever it's getting close to uh, any of the whole numbers. Um, prepare to for that to be a, um, a resistance or a support. So if I was trading this right now, if I was looking for an entry, I'm definitely looking for an entry at $4. That's where I really want to enter. Um, but you know, it might not make it there. So I'd be looking for another whole number to possibly enter at. And I look at, okay, and where else has it kind of bounced? So if I'm looking here, um, you see right here, if there was a bounce up right here, there's a bounce up. It came back down again. It went back up. It came back down right here. Another bounce up. And I was kind of coming back down. So if I was looking for an entry, look at where, look at the numbers that where these bounced. It happens to be another whole number, 410. So 410 is my first entry where I would be putting it at. Well, actually, so if you want, it depends on on how much risk you want to take. Because if you really don't want to miss out, 420 could be a possible entry uh, again another whole number so I'd set up uh, I'd set up three entries I'd set up one entry at 420 one entry at 410 and my final entry at four dollars so I, I it would basically you'd be averaging down um, under four dollars uh, I, I wouldn't really like it under four dollars I'd probably sell under four um, but if you want to hold if it were to go under four then your next the next support is 370 and through after, under 370 then you for sure have to sell because if it drops past 370 it has the possibility of dropping you know possibly the three dot to, to three dollars there will be some you know supports some minor supports with uh, moving averages and like whole numbers 350 stuff like that but it's just a scary thing that it could drop all the way to three dollars so um so yeah so that's up to you guys on that part it depends on your risk tolerance necros uh i mainly trade on bitmex and on bybit those are the two platforms i mainly use if i'm look if i'm trading with leverage um that's what i'm using now for you know stuff like tezos and stuff i'm using binance you can use, I, use, I have Binance, I have Coinbase, I have Gemini, I have Bittrex, uh, I have Qcoin. I have so many platforms that I use. So it just depends on what coin I'm trading. And if I'm looking to trade with leverage or without leverage. If you guys want to check out, uh, let's take a look at Chainlink. I know Chainlink is very popular nowadays. Zoom out a bit. Let's start at the weekly. Look at this. Jeez. Um, if for a new trader, it depends. First, first, it, uh, the first thing it depends is on location where you located. Because depending what country you're in, it uh changes what uh platforms you can use. So for example, I am in the US. Um, so there's so, we're, so I'm, ac I'm actually pretty limited on what um, platforms I, I can use since I'm in the US. Um, but there are ways around it if the platform doesn't have KYC. So you have to be careful with that. Um, but if you're brand new, uh, Binance is a pretty simple one to use. So you can check that out if you have. I know a lot of a lot of uh, U.S. people are in uh, use Coinbase to buy Bitcoin. 
and it's easy to just go from Coinbase to Coinbase Pro, which is their their small like platform um, to trade. So it just depends, man. Um, so man, Chainlink is a beauty so far, but it's up so much that it's a it's a little scary for me to trade. Um, man, I don't like jumping on. I am invested again long term on Chainlink, but uh. When people are asking for new entries, like it's it's tough, dude. It's tough to give a new entry when it's gone up this much, this fast. You guys know what I mean? But, um, all right. This is a daily, let's zoom in a bit more and see, see what's really been going on here. All right, so if you notice, Look at this pattern that's been going on. It's been up, consolidation, up, consolidation, up, consolidation. So, you know, you would think up, right? So this is bull flag, bull flag, bull flag, bull flag. Um, so the probability is that it's gonna go up. The breakout entry is over $20. So $20, Remember what we just spoke about psychological resistance $20 is another one of those um, So it has to break 20 to continue going up If it does not break 20 it looks like it's been dropping down to about the 1850 mark to to between the $19 to 1850 um, So if I was buying if I'm buying I'm looking to buy only breakouts right now where it is um, I've I don't want to buy any support entries on this I just I don't like it because it's gone up so much I don't want to buy any support entries I'm only buying breakout entries here so I would have a, a stop order set above $20 uh, as soon as it goes above $20 it would trigger and that'll and uh, my orders would execute so that is what I would do if I'm looking for entry on chain link I wouldn't enter at its current price because it's you're just up in the air right now it could go either way there's uh, you have no edge um, yeah so uh, anyone looking for new positions in chain link I suggest either setting up an order or set up alerts as soon as it breaks 20 that's when you want to buy but it could it could move fast, so you need to have your orders ready. If it drops under this uh, 1850 mark, then we can we can see a drop to possibly 17 dollars for 1650. Those are the next support levels for Chainlink. Let's check out Neo, man. I ha I actually haven't looked at Neo in a while. I had man, I, I traded Neo many many moons ago before it was ever called Neo. When I traded Neo, it wasn't called Neo. <laughs> I don't know how many of you guys were around at that time. I started at the monthly just to get an idea of what it's been doing. Look, I still have this charted from the last one of the last times I traded it. So it seems like I have put a resistance here at 1570. And look, it's still like it kind of been there. But look, it actually looks like it broke out through that resistance right now. What's this high right here? This high is 1674. Right now we're at sixteen dollars. So Neo has been looking very, very nice for the past few months since after the COVID. Let's look at the daily.
Damn, Neo's been looking crazy, man. Look, it dropped all the way to five dollars. Through it dropped to four dollars. That's crazy. Yeah, I'll take a look at Zill. Uh, so let's see. It went all. It went all the way up, down. Then it went up. What's this level here? Thirteen dollars. Looks like it's a level that it kept getting issues with, and it broke through thirteen. As soon as it broke through 13, it took off. And now it's this level. Let's zoom in a bit more. Let's see if we could understand, really understand what's going on. Looks like it's riding this movement average. This one is the 50 day. So it's riding the 50 day moving average here. It's been just kind of riding it here. It goes up, going back down to 50. Right now, it's like a little mini bull flag. Actually, kind of breaking out the bull flag exactly what's been happening right here. So it's, it's, a, it's a pretty good buy. I am invested in NEO long term. I have not day traded it in a while. But uh but I am going to keep an eye on this because I'm starting to like the chart now. The next major resistance is definitely gonna be like um another whole number probably let's see let me zoom out a bit what's up here 1670 something so that'll probably be a resistance and then up here there's a $20 mark so $20 is gonna be its biggest resistance on its way up if it breaks that 20 mark then we can be going back up Man, Neo was a very expensive coin at one point in time. Look at, look at where it's come. Oh, okay, I see what I did here. Yeah, so this break is actually pretty bullish. This is a break of a pretty big resistance right here. So twenty dollars that next real big area. Next, take a look at it. So see, like the issue with these coins, man, there's not enough history. So when there's not enough history for it, from a technical aspect, uh, it's hard to trade. Neck rolls, appreciate the follow, bud. It's um. It's hard to trade when um, when there's when there's not that much history in it. So the only the only uh, information I have from a technical aspect is this right here, where it was like a rejection, and it's having same issues here. So the same area right here is giving it the same issues here. We got rejected last time. And look, it looks like it's been, it got rejected again. So, I mean, that's all I could really say about that. There's not really too much else going on with it that I can tell you about from a technical aspect. It's not, en not enough data for me to really analyze it. All right, let's look at Zill, Zillica. Zill is another coin that I am also invested in long term. I've had it for a while. Last few months has been bullish. That 
that's what one two three four five months in a row of green when you break when you go down to the weekly you see it's, it's been pretty good overall it actually looks like a cup and handle pattern here so on the weekly it's kind of like a cup and handle type of pattern that's usually bullish and if you go down to the daily chart it also looks like a cup and like it's about to form the handle and then it also if you just look at this area this is a bull flag right here so it has several different patterns telling me that um, that it's definitely gonna go up based off the patterns so we have the cup and handle this beat is my recital. I think it's so it, it basically needs to break out around this area what are we looking at? Dollars, USC. Uh, so two cents. Well, the three, the three cent area probably. Yeah, so around the three cent area. Point zero two eight. Above point zero two eight. If it breaks out, we can see three cents. If it breaks out at three cents. It could take off. It could go for a ride. So yeah, the patterns, te technical wise, it's, uh, it's bullish. Bullish on it. We got a cup and handle on the weekly. We have another possible cup and handle on the daily. And on the daily, we also have a, the bull flag form in there. And if we go down to the four hour. We also have that bull flag. Just looks really messy though. I don't know why it looks all crazy like this. But yeah, I am bullish on it. I like it. I like the chart. I like the chart, guys. Guys, make sure to follow the channel. Also, another thing, make sure to follow our YouTube page, guys. Let me see. go to youtube.com right go to Bitcoin daily just scroll down boom right here Bitcoin daily click on it hit the subscribe turn on the notification bell we're at uh, 1500 subscribers right now we've been putting out videos we started again at, at on on uh, last week putting up videos we've put up a bunch of stuff already we put up a uh, market analysis last week we put up a bitmex tutorial how to use stop losses uh, and stop orders overall it is a great tutorial if you if you're looking to use bitmex uh, we did an, another market analysis for last week um, this one right here, this this video, these two videos are very, 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 very vital videos. I think uh, people don't understand how important it is to use proper risk management, but this is all about risk management, these two videos. Um, if you're looking to be a trader, you're looking to be successful and profitable and stay in this business long term, uh, these videos I suggest you watching, bookmarking, rewatching, taking notes on them very very important guys uh, these two videos right here can change your life if you follow the rules so and look, look how crazy it is that everybody watches these videos when will Bitcoin hit 20k like that's what people are you know are clicking on because that's what they want to see but then when like I make videos on okay how to trade 
and actually be able to make money like eh, people don't really want to watch those videos or they don't get that many views it's crazy man everybody just wants to get rich quick that's not how it works guys unfortunately alrighty guys I appreciate you guys hanging out in the chat man you guys have been great um, again make sure to follow hit the follow button we appreciate it subscribe to our YouTube channel we'll, we will deeply appreciate that too we are trying to get the 10k before the end of the year I think we could do more than that but let's just start with one goal um, yeah man we'll have we'll have a, a highlight video of this current stream if you missed any part of it up tomorrow on our YouTube page so make sure to subscribe a lot of information we're gonna be putting up any other questions leave us a comment and we'll be back here in a couple days we'll figure out the next day we're gonna stream and we'll let you guys know appreciate you guys spending time with us peace <laughs>